I'm sure that you can all see that this is going to be a video about recording CPD. <sighs> more work, yes. More work that we are required to do as social workers, but something that is necessary if you want to continue to practice as a social worker in England. Now, CPD stands for Continuing Professional Development, and it is basically how you as social workers demonstrate that you are continuously keeping up with your registration, that you are continuously keeping up with being a social worker, that you are learning as you go. As I've said in my previous videos, once you leave uni, you, that, that's not it, there's still more work to do. So actually your CPD is about how you can evidence that you are still, that you're still doing some learning as, as, a, as a social worker, that you're still doing some research, that you're still being impacted, that you're still being reflective by the stuff that you see on a day-to-day -day basis, which will then in turn help with our approach with the services that we work with and will help with how we process, how we deal with our our day-to-day -day social work role. So we have to, firstly you have to register, you have to register with Social Work England. It was previously with the HCPC, um, but that changed recently. So as social workers we all have until the 30th of November to not only register, or re-register should I say, if you have already been registered on the um, social work register or to and to record CPD. Now, recording CPD, I'm not going to sit here and say that I am an expert. I'm not going to sit here and say that I've been doing it since the start of being registered as a social worker five years ago because quite frankly I would be lying. I know that I've had a lot of questions about what can be, what can constitute as CPD, what could you, what can you record, or some people asking that, or some people say that they haven't yet started their role, so what could they enter, and honestly, CPD is what you make it, so it doesn't necessarily have to be this theory that I read, and this is what I've learned from it, it can be the stuff that you see on a day-to-day -day basis, it can be the, that, that little thing that you come across, or that piece of work that you do that really impacts you that you think mm, actually I want to stop and reflect on this. Also make sure to check out the Social Work England website where they actually give you loads and loads of tips and loads and loads of examples of what you can use for your CPD. So let's get into it. Right, okay, so I've got my laptop. So at the same time, I will be screen recording. You have the option of either adding your CPD using a structured form or adding your CPD using, using an unstructured form. So the structured form has the points that it wants you to consider and then some boxes to obviously enter in your text. You also have the unstructured form which again doesn't have all those boxes that you saw but has a tick box for you to select where you feel that you've best met the, the standards that they want you to, to basically consider within your CPD log. Now, my understanding is that you don't have to tick all of them, so that might save some people if they were worried about having to meet every single, every single kind of point. Yeah. I'm gonna go for the unstructured, <laughs> just because I am lazy. I'm just going to mix it up a bit so there will be some that are structured and some that are unstructured for the purposes of the video i am going to do one that is unstructured because i think it's so much more quicker um, and easy for, to easy to flow firstly what i'm going to use is a documentary that i watch
And actually that was such a capturing documentary for me because it happened in an area that I, that I knew and it was part of, I think watching the documentary was part of my own up upbringing. It was so familiar, even though I didn't live in Peckham, the culture and the way of life for them was very similar to the way of life that I had when I was growing up. So I thought that resonated with me quite well. Also, if you've watched the documentary, which if you haven't, I, I would suggest that you do. If you hadn't watched the documentary, it also included or told, and I think quite emotively as well, um, the presenter, Ian Bikini. I think she, she really was able to capture her experiences of living on the North Peckham estate and also about the deprivation and the poverty that they experienced as as youth, as a black community, as a working class, as working class families in a deprived area. So yeah, I thought it was really quite interesting because in social work, a lot of the families that we work with are deprived. A lot of the families that we, we might come across um, again, I use families because I work with children, um, but a lot of the families that we can come across aren't always from the best of backgrounds um, and they work with what they have and sometimes they're working against a society that isn't structured to meet those ever-changing needs of that. So going back onto here, title of the CPD, I'm just going to put In this example so obviously I didn't have a direct role because I wasn't in the documentary um, but what I'm going to put as my role is an observer so one of the things to think about is thinking about this example how did it impact on the quality of your practice Docu I'm start speaking again. The documentary also allowed me to delve into my experiences growing, experiences growing up in an estate and the negative, oh, negative connotations that this has. So that is very, very brief, and I might just touch up on it off camera. 
Um, but yeah, that is a bit of a flavour of some of the things that you can enter onto your CPD logs. And then the next part that you need to think about is how what you just talked about in here meets these. So, as I said earlier, you don't have to tick every single box. So it could be that one one log only meets one out of eight. Um, it could be that another log meets eight out of eight. Um, I think vary up a bit, but don't get caught up on the fact that you have to record record a log that meets every single one of those requirements. So, as it says here, 4.6 and 4.7 for reflection and recording are automatically ticked because by virtue of entering a log, you should hopefully be being reflective. Um, by virtue of recording a log, you are recording a log. So, what I will also add to this is the last bit, which is 4.8. Um, reflecting on my values. Right, so we've come to the end of the video. I really hope that you found it useful. Um, if you have any questions regarding recording your CPD, then drop me a DM on Instagram or send me an email. That might be better, actually. Um, and yeah, good luck. I hope that you are able to record it by the 30th of November deadline. If you want to continue to, if you want to continue to practice.